Okay, we're leaving Sun and Fun and the RV thing. Man, we had a blast. This is a great four days. Paul and Lorena from Motorhome Experiment really put on a great show. Uh, I just hope they have another one coming up soon. Probably in another year, but I hope they do it because it was fantastic. Couldn't have been any better. See that there's next one you want to go, you better get hot on the tickets because I'm going to be taking them up. So, we're heading out to the uh, Tampa Fairgrounds for the RV, big RV show. It's been four days down there. Uh, down the road we go. Well, Shirley's in the back of us driving a tow because it's not that far. So she's getting some experience with the stick shift. I'll be interested. Here we go. Okay, we're arrived. We're in line. So far, pretty, uh, pretty organized, really. Uh, come in, uh, check your name, give you your paperwork, your lanyards and stuff. And now we're on our way to the uh, campsite. Boy, are they tight in here! It's not too bad, though. It's about like it was the last place. Yes, dear. That it? Good. That, I'm good. Good. Okay. Didn't have to yell at you or anything. <laughs> it's a good day. <laughs> Wife's in the car, so I haven't been able to yell at her. So, well, here we are. We're at the Tampa RV show. Uh, parked out here in a nice, soft, gushy field. Hopefully it doesn't sink too much, but we're getting ready to go uh, in and start checking it out. So, come on, guys. As down the road we go into the RV show. Getting a ride this morning. Uh, there is a man on the train that's right on our uh, RV, so uh, he's headed towards the camping road. So I don't know. Anyway. So what time are we going to do? up that tight. So yeah, tell me all about it. Okay, well whenever you first uh, turn it on, you're going to have to go through the setup sequence. Mm -hmm. and it's basically, you just follow the directions and it's not a problem. Okay. And then you're going to have to download an update. And once you download the update, it's going to turn off and turn back on and this is the screen that's going to come to. 
So you want to go somewhere? You just click on. Um, and we're doing a simulated route right now, so that's why this came up. And we're just going to click yes. Or excuse me. And say you want to go to a spot that you've been to before. Uh, let's see that one right there. Just click go. And we want to add it to the current route or add it as our next stop. And we're just going to do it as a new route. Okay. It's going to calculate it up. We're going to drive it. And now it's driving it for us while we're here. Because we're with Techno RV out of okay. Mobile, Alabama. Yep. And uh, we're here at the uh, Tampa RV yep. Super Shop. Uh, Video. Hi guys, welcome. This is the RV Super Show 2020. Yay! Oh my gosh, this is going to check this. This is a one piece fiberglass <laughs> hall that they sit on there. This is pretty roomy. Gosh. Oh, there's two beds. Yeah. I wouldn't have to worry about your snoring. Oh, I'd still hear oh, that. I'd, I'd still hear that, wouldn't I? Yeah, got God, it's a nice bathroom. Oh, wow. This, be, this is very nice. You've got two beds? I mean, huh? Huh? 10000 off for so it's 176000 Oh. Oh, wow. A little out of my budget, but man, it's nice. This oh, thing is nice. Two beds. It's got a TV back there. Surely you can watch your TV, and I don't have to. I can go sleep. Anywhere. Anywhere. Yeah. What? Is it? Park is anywhere. Solid surface. Solid surface. Look at the big couch. I guess that folds out into. It's a slide, isn't it? It's a jackknife. Now, is that a slide or is that? That's a slide. Okay, so it's got a slide in it. An 858-11. This is actually shorter than the one we have by a foot. Ours is nine foot. This is eight. But it's basically set up the same. Yeah. It's just a little bit shorter. Yeah. Same wet bath. And it's just newer. They got a price on it? or? Oh, here it is. It's a little bit more expensive than ours. And of course, shipping. services are provided by Now this is what you call a bunkhouse or an office. You can sleep well, what? Four kids? Four kids and a bunk. Four bunks. This thing's huge for a 34 foot, but of course that takes away from the kitchen and the living room. At least they're putting a the TV across from the seats. Yeah. Takes up. That's way to go. Oh yeah, that's the way to go if you got a bunch of kids. They they own the rear end of it pretty much. Where was the bathroom? In the middle? Right there? Mm -hmm. House. It's because the bunkhouse goes out the back. Yeah. That's why it looks so big. 33.5 bunkhouse. Grass and a half bunkhouse. Really? Okay. Residential refrigerator. Oh, it's, it's also got bunks above. You got one bunk up. Up top. Yeah, and you close them in, you can't get in here. There is a door in the back so that you can get to the back, but. Half bath. You know, for us, it's just not feasible because it comes in and closes up. 
nicely. I like the new colors. They're nice and white and bright. So they don't look so dingy in there. Oh, I like that shelf. Look at that. Oh, that's an outdoor kitchen. Yeah, never use it. I don't believe it. We're going down a line of Montana's. Thirty-three, thirty-three one rear living. I don't know. We just can't get away from these Montanas. Oh, this one's got a. Yeah, you can't get into it. Plus, it's got a residential fridge. What was that? Twenty-nine. You still can't get into it. It's got opposing slides. Even the 29 does. Who's that? 20, that's a 20, a 37. A 305 RL. Residential refrigerator, huh? Mm -hmm. Nope. You you can... House. It's because the bunkhouse goes out the back. Yeah. That's why it looks so big. Thirty-three-five bunkhouse. Half and a half bunkhouse. Really? Yeah. Residential refrigerator. Oh. It's, it's also got bunks above. You got one bunk up up top. It's a waste. Yeah, and you close them in, you can't get in here. There is a door in the back so that you can get to the back, but... Half bath. You know, for us, it's just not feasible because it comes in and closes up. Yep. Nice I like the new colors. They're nice and white and bright, so they don't look so dingy in there. Oh, I like that shelf. Look at that. Oh, that's an outdoor kitchen. Yeah, never use it. Thank you. Thanks for coming out.